Oh, hi, I'm Dave Jordan, and I'm an engineer producer, and I'm at my studio here, Seahorse, which is downtown LA, right down in the middle of the, near the Staples Center. I started working here about a year ago with my partner, Jimmy Sloan. We have a company called Original Sonic Cowboys. We record the 24-track tape, overdub and Pro Tools, and then uh, we mix back to tape. How I got started, believe it or not, was um, very early age. My father was a session musician and he used to take me to sessions. The person I noticed that impressed me the most was the engineer because he, he was the one that everybody deferred to. He was the one that was actually making the records. So um, I got interested in engineering at an early age. And my father, you know, I played in bands at an early age too. I started playing in bands when I was in ninth grade in, in the junior high school. He, Got good microphones, uh, stands, uh, PA system. I always had good equipment. And he taught me how to solder XLR cables when I was eight years old. I knew what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to be in the music business and I wanted to either be a musician or I wanted to be a technician. I played in bands until the early 70s and then I built a studio with another guy and went to a recording school. This was about 1976 I got started. We got some good equipment in the studio. Uh, we got an MCI console, an MCI uh, tape machine and board. And that was about 1978 we got that equipment. I worked with Tom Dowd and Rod Stewart and uh, some really good people came. A lot of Motown acts we worked with. And then I went to a studio called El Dorado in Hollywood. And that's really where I got my start. In the last like 20 years, I've been known for my guitar sounds. And that actually was a process that started when I was working with Frank Zappa in the early 80s. And we talked about guitar sounds and how to get like really ultimate guitar sounds, rhythm sounds and lead sounds. And then when I worked with the Stones, I, I had a lot of time to experiment working with guitar sounds. It really started to come together when I worked with Alice in Chains. Uh, it, their first album, we started to develop this uh, guitar sound by the time I was doing Dirt, it was fully manifested, and I was using three amps for one sound. For one, you know, it was a combination, and, and I had amps built for this, and it was a really specialized thing I had going on. I've done a lot of interviews where people ask me about these sounds, how I got them, and I can explain it exactly. Still, it all comes down to your ears. You know, I mean, you don't have to use three amps to get a guitar sound. The album I just finished with this band called The Shrine from for Century Media, I used the KRK speakers to get the guitar sound. And I've always had this idea that everybody loves their home stereo and how it sounds, no matter how bad it is, because they're used to it. So my idea of a guitar sound was always like, uh, the guitar was plugged directly into the speaker. So these rockets here, just have this great guitar tone to it. So I'm using it like a guitar amp, basically. You know, I mean, what I like about, about these rockets are, um, I use the small ones primarily, and I cut, cut my drums on them, and I do the bass, everything on them, and I mixed on them too. They're, they have this really warm sound that you can just stick your head into. What I try to do is every act that I do is I want them to sound different. I, want them, I try to strip away everything the band is not so bring out what they are. So I, I don't really pride myself on a Dave Jordan sound. I pride myself more on when you hear my records on the radio, you immediately identify them associated with only one band, not another band.